Hi there, in this video I'm just going to quickly walk you through the process of installing WordPress from scratch. So you've bought a domain and you want to build a WordPress site, you've got hosting, so you want to be able to install WordPress uh, via your hosting company's uh, administration area. So when you log into your hosting for the domain, you'll see something that looks a bit like this. It won't necessarily look exactly like this, but it'll look similar. This is your hosting company's control panel. Um, and if you scroll down, most hosting companies offer a big list of different uh, content management systems and so on that you can install. This is our own hosting that we're running here. So we've set it up so that you can only install WordPress. So if you were using another hosting company like GoDaddy or 123reg or whatever, you might see a, a much bigger list of logos here. But essentially the process is the same. You're just looking for one click installs and then for the WordPress logo. So the domain I'm using is this one here. It's att-installed.tk. Your domain would be whatever it is. And I'm just going to go ahead and click on the WordPress logo to kick off the process. So the first thing it's going to do is ask me uh, to check the directory that it's going to be installed in. I'm not going to make any changes to this. I'm just going to click install and carry on through the process. And that's it, WordPress has been successfully installed. So if I click on the domain, you can see it's opened up a new tab and WordPress is just going to take me through a few sort of setup screens. So the first thing is it's asking what language I'd like. So I'd like English UK. Next thing is going to ask for the title of the website. So this can be whatever you want it to be. You can change this at some future point, so you're not committed to whatever you, you put in here. And then the next thing it's doing is asking me to set up a user. So this is going to be how I'm going to log into the site to start with. So you could have a username of your name or let's just say admin for the purposes of this. And then WordPress is always going to recommend a crazy password like the one that you can see here, a really strong password. Uh, it's a good idea to keep that or have something of equivalent strength. So don't change this to password or anything that's easily guessable. Um, it's uh, important to keep the site secure with a, a password that can't be guessed either by a, another human or in particular by a, a bot. So we will keep that password as it is. And just I'm going to make a note of it so I don't forget it. And then it's going to ask me for my email address. So I'm going to put in my Lorna at awesometechtraining.com address. And then you can, if you want, tick this box to discourage search engines from indexing the site. I don't think it's a good idea to do that most of the time. Maybe if you were going to spend a long time developing the site, you might do that. But generally, you probably don't want to tick that box. Um, it, it's another thing to have to remember to come back and change later. So... I've got the site title, I've got my username, I've made a note of my password and I'm ready to go. I'm going to click install WordPress. And here we go. We've got a uh, username admin password, your chosen password. And then if I click login, it's going to take me to my WordPress login page. So in the future, when I access the back end of my site, I won't need to go via the hosting company the way I've got to this point. The, I will always go to this address here. So it's going to be the same for you as well. It'll be your domain and then slash wp-login.php. And that's the default login page. So I'm logging in with my username admin, the password that I just set, and off we go. And that's it. I'm in the back end of WordPress. There's the install. Um, and as always with WordPress, you can see up here, so I won't save that just now, uh, up here in the top left hand corner, you've got the name of the site and underneath that, the visit site button. You can always just click on this and it will toggle you through to the front end. And if I click on again, it takes me to the back end, back to the front end. So this now is a website living on the internet 
at this domain, publicly available for anybody that wants to come and have a look at it. Um, and that's how straightforward it is to install WordPress.